How is life here? Because this is one of the most iconic places. You literally live by the treasury where everyone comes. This is the beginning. It's gonna take probably six to eight hours to have a good flavor of the site. You can choose your horse if you wanna do it faster, but we're gonna start walking and exploring this iconic site of Petra. Here's where we split parts. We're not taking the traditional way. If you remember from history, everything has been carved by the Nabataeans. They were this tribe living here for centuries and centuries. And then the Romans came. How did they conquer this place? Cut the water and they just let them die. But the difference between Petra and other cities is that this one has been completely carved out from the sandstone. You can see the stone has this rose color and this is the stone that they used to carve this place. This is the onion of the desert, <laughs> cannot eat it. I don't know if you get sick or what, but it's probably super hard. This was like a big stone. And look at this, all the steps that these people made to open the roads. Who needs an art exhibition when you have all this? How do you even do this? Such a long time ago. Good boy. It's interesting, you have dogs here patrolling the area to make sure everything is fine, there's no risk. They used to put this kind of marks, kind of a sign, somebody buried nearby, but it's not so obvious when you're walking, probably you see nothing. You can only find this in the desert, really, right? And it smells like a, like a, like a type of mint, mint, but uh, I don't know how to describe it, but it's very nice smell so you get sick you prepare a tea look at mohammed clearly he's from here <laughs> yeah i don't know if i can eat it like that but for sure this will be nice with the tea the way is very narrow <laughs> like you say in the uk in london mind the gap here mind the super gap before we were saying this is a rose city because the way they carved the city with those sandstones. But we also see yellow here. See how many different colors. So you see, that's all we did so far. We are approaching the treasury really, really, very close. See, we are the herbs for the stomach. Are you part of a tribe or something? We are a bit one. How is life here? Because this is one of the most iconic places. You literally live by the treasury where everyone comes. Beautiful life, my friend. How is it a day in your life? Have I some wake tea? Up, I make tea. I make myself relax. What do you normally eat here? Because I see tea, I see shisha. Maglopa, chicken sometimes. When you come to the treasury, when you come to Petra, there's so many people around, but it's really good to take a break, enjoy some tea, have this iconic view. Life is cool. Life is cool. There's no reason to stress. Keep everything yeah. behind you. Yeah. Actually, where do you go to a toilet here? There's no toilet. Nature. Nature. When is your friend waking up? I don't know. Well, I think my friend died. What do people do wrong in Petra? Or what they should not do? Don't uh, leave the rubbish. Rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> True. We were coming and yeah. we saw some bottles and yeah. some kind no. of things. When I see the rubbish... You take it. I bring okay. like this bag, plastic bag, and when I go down, I clean. I come tomorrow, I find it. Because it's our place. Yeah. You were doing the same, Mohammed. I do yeah. the same, so yeah. the, it's our place, you know? Yeah. That's the one thing they should not do. Like, rubbish, don't throw it, yeah, keep it yourself. All right, so let's talk about the treasury. Probably the most iconic and beautiful site that you normally see on Instagram. So this place in reality was for afterlife. This was a crypt. The Nabataeans were coming here and putting some uh, kind of uh, afterlife uh, objects and symbols and decoration because they believed in the afterlife. And then the Bedouins took over. And then later the locals, the Bedouins, they believed this place had uh, treasures. This place was wealthy. If you see on top, there's kind of a little crown. So they were shooting at that to see if uh, <laughs> the treasure was coming out. And obviously at the end, they put the name, the treasury. But uh, in reality, this was more like a crypt, more a place for the afterlife. This is the true story. We don't wanna go to the treasury yet because apparently this spectacular view from the top 
Another quick stop. That was uh, the little camp that we were before, where you know you sometimes see some iconic pictures all the way down the treasury, so where most of the people are taking photos and with animals, camels. Over there, you see plants growing. So you see life, even in these places where you hardly see any water, you can see green. So you can see life, the power of nature. Do you know why it's called Petra? This comes from Greek Petros, which means stones, or in Spanish, piedras. And from here it's very clear, and you can see stones pretty much everywhere here. We are just a few minutes away from the very top. You are from here. This brings memories of something. COVID-19, come here three, four days, sleep. Only when the food finish water, I go back to the city and bring another time, come back here. All my life here, you know. I know each stone here in the city. So your childhood was really in the, in the mountains yeah. of Petra. Mohammed was sharing during COVID, he used to come here to think, to meditate, <laughs> to relax, because obviously there was no tourism, everything was closed, and this heavily impacted not just Jordan, I think uh, most of the countries. You can imagine places like Petra, where they heavily rely on tourism income, not having this from one day to another. It was brutal. You know, in a way, I'm happy that not just him, all of them, the guides and, and the, the people in the, in the shops here, they have, they have some income again. Think about this, Nabataeans, when they lived here, they believed in afterlife. They took extra care for the dead people. This is exactly where they buried all these people. So in other words, this was like a massive cemetery in a different way because of the afterlife and all that, but truly. If I create kind of a direct line behind the sun, facing that place, I can see approximately it's like 12. Hey, but it's not that accurate, but you need to think this was over 2,000 years ago. So this gave us all the principles for the things that we know these days. How smart this is. Let's talk about the irrigation system. Technically, at some point, this was surrounded by lush gardens. And when the rain came, it used to come all the way through here and go all the way down to those pools. Very smart, if you think about it. So one of the things we were talking before with the guys from the tribe and Mohammed is about rubbish. Some people come, they finish the bottles and they just drop it here, which is a bit crazy. But hopefully this gets better in the future because it's really fascinating place and people like Mohammed they're always trying to help to clean on the way but you can only help so much right you only have two hands and now we're going down to see the treasury and all the other places from a closer distance one thing you should probably keep in mind when you come here is that whenever you get hot come to places like this where the temperature is actually the opposite in these caves Okay, finally we are on the ground. After five hours we are on the ground. So here's where we're gonna meet the people. Camels, horses, pretty much everyone is here right now. You have four royal tombs. Petra has one of the most stunning burial places in the world. We talk about that this place has thousands and thousands of tombs. But behind me, we have the royal ones. So you only have four royal tombs. So now we're getting close to the treasury from the ground. Before we had different angles, different shots from the very top. Now we're going from the ground so we can expect some people there. But also on the way you have all these souvenir shops in case you want to buy a gift. This is technically the normal entrance where people come the, for the very first time. They come through this way. It's like, I don't know, one and a half kilometer and then you are in the treasury. As you know, we did the other way around from the very, 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 very top. From here you can start seeing the treasury. So that's the treasury, see? And now you can tell why 
we did the other way around all from the top because let's say you want to take a picture from here you will need to ask everyone please can you move i want to take a picture and there's really a lot of people coming you can still get your picture here or your video but you will have it with all the people that reminds me of uh, kind of uh, the instagram versus reality the instagram is all the way up and the reality is all the way down which is here i'm gonna ask you if you want a picture with a camel but uh, it's better not to support this to be honest i can get a little bit closer let me show you this is the closest you can get because it's closed nobody can enter here this is the entrance but this is also the way back okay after a long hike pretty much all day now in the gate the main gate and if you really want to get a good flavor of what Petra is, I think you need to allocate a full day. Some people do it in two hours, but two hours means go all the way to the treasury, take a few photos and come back. Because even to get to the treasury, it's at least 20 minutes or 25 minutes. Really, if you wanna get an idea of Petra and see this place from different angles, talk to some people, enjoy some tea, and really get a flavor of the different sites because there's a lot of places to visit inside. I think you need a full day, minimum. This is exactly where we started, exactly the place. It took us seven hours and we were relatively fast. Maybe we spent like an hour drinking some tea and all that and we were super fast. By the way, if you want to do what we did, this is called Indiana Jones way, but it will take you a full day. Let's go home, bro.